and welcome my name is Melody and I am from Melody Crochet and today we are going to be doing our live I like to come on live every week on Wednesday 10 a.m. see how you're all doing do a little chat and we're gonna review some yarn this is Cotton Fair I buy mine at Michaels they have quite a few colors now more and more which I appreciate and they're getting more neutrals which I very much appreciate because it's cotton and size 2 which makes it a little skinny but it's great for making crochet tops. So that being said, let's get into it, shall we? Maybe I should wait until a couple more people join. What do you think? Sure. How have things been? How has been how has your crochet life been? My crochet life is amazing. Awesome. This is my husband, I... Justin Crochet. And let's <laughs> see. Lately we've been pretty much spring cleaning. Yes, time to get all the dust out of the rooms. Oh, he made me a kitchen island. It rolls. It's amazing. Very cool. I think you're still working on that video, though. Yes. Yeah, over on Happy Home Crafts is his video on how he's making the kitchen island. It's actually a big Ikea hack. It's amazing. We need an island for quite a while, but I really dig the open concept of the house, so I didn't want to like close it off with like a great big anchor point in the middle of our kitchen. So it rolls, which is fabulous so please feel free come on in say hello let's see what you get my gosh it's really really soft what's up it I'm trying to find it it's not uh -oh. pulling up your live isn't showing it he's not I'm not showing up it's not on the left side of your screen mm -mm. I'm gonna go to glasses here go again and then Melody Crochet is live right there oh thanks and then Melody's crochet. There it is. I Thanks. found myself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay. How are we doing? doing Alrighty. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, just in case we start off at this point instead of everything I just Why is this, said. Is this what's this for? Because it's like super super thin. It is super super thin. What's your guess? My guess is like the doily Feel it? stuff. Feel it? It's really, really tight too. Hard. Doilies would be thinner. It's still really thin. I don't. But doilies would be thinner. So gotta keep guessing. Uh, washcloth. Clothing. Clo really? Yeah, summer clothes. Oh, that yeah. must take a while to do. Well, it depends on how big of the holes you want in your clothes. Mm, wow. Hey guys. Come on in, get comfy. Hopefully you have something to drink. I do. And we're going to talk about some cotton fare. I'm working on some projects here. Oh, you got decaf coffee? I have. All right. Yes. I've got my decaf on. It's been, what, three weeks since I've had, well, I mean, I have tea and everything. I'm not going to avoid co caffeine like the plague, but actually caffeinated coffee. I'm going to save that for special times at Starbucks when I want it to, and I figure it's going to hit me like a brick. <laughs> Which is kind of fabulous. How do I sound, Beth? I can't hear you yet. So let me put some. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Can you hear me okay? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I am at Cotton Fair. It is a size two fine weight yarn. I get it over at Michael's and they're suggesting a four and a half millimeter hook, a hook that has no letter. It took so long before I started finding 4.5 millimeter hooks, US size seven, if you will. And then they were everywhere. But for a while, people would talk about them because they were over in the UK. Because usually our hooks have a letter size. This is Justin Crochet. He's moderating today. Hi. Hey How are there. you today? How's it going? Good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. How's crochet going? Crochet is amazing. Awesome. <laughs> I notice you're not wearing any. Um, not today. No. Oh. You can give me some of your paraphernalia there. So maybe <laughs> bucket hat. I'll be happy to wear your bucket hat. Hi Kennedy. Good those. morning. Hi Kennedy. We're just looking at Cotton Fair. I get it over at Michael's. I'm starting to get summer minded and I'm looking at all the different cotton weight yarns that you can make stuff out of. And I'm just kind of like, hmm. So I'm checking out Cotton Fair. I haven't made anything from it before. I got three balls of the green. It is size two fine weight yarn and you use a 4.5 millimeter hook with it. 
They say over at Premier Yarns they have patterns for it, but I haven't made any yet, so I'm excited. But you get 317 yards for three and a half ounces. It's beautiful. Hey, I, oh, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, honey. What were you saying about the hooks, though? Mm -hmm. Well, it's it uses a 4.5 millimeter hook, and usually the hooks have a letter attached to them in U.S., but they have this one that I always heard about on UK crochet because people would use it for, like, DK weight, and really big overseas was the Stylecraft DK or Special DK. And I got some of it gifted to me from a friend, Rosina, over there, and it is fabulous. But we didn't really have much of a need for a four and a half millimeter. We had like just above and just below it on our letters. So are the crochet hooks in UK different sizes then? I guess they have all the same, except they had one addition one. So we don't have a letter for it. Hey there! Hey, this Serena. is the color... Green. No, I'm not mad. <laughs> um, leaf green. Isn't that pretty? But I want a top out of it. I got three of them. So, pretty excited. So we're going to see what it feels like. It feels, the husband felt it. He said it feels really hard. But it's yeah. soft. I feel like. Well, is it cotton? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's like, maybe it's because it's tightly wound. Yeah, it's tightly wound. <clears throat> Very tidy, which is something I look for because if you gift yarn to somebody, you want it to be nice and tidy. Am I right? For sure. So this will turn into a shirt mm -hmm. or like a tank top? Either. Okay. I only have three, so probably a tank top. I don't think I'm getting sleeves out of this. Cool. Oh, definitely would be good for baby jackets. I wonder if it would shrink. It says machine wash, warm, dry, flat. So they would have to dry it flat, which is kind of... Hey! how's it going but they'd have to like usually you don't want to lay a baby jacket out to dry if they wear it all the time but if they don't mind hey, not throwing it in the dryer then we're cool so this doesn't shrink or anything it shouldn't shrink because it does have 48 percent acrylic in there with the cut ah. super super cute oh my gosh i do like their packaging it looks like something you could hand stamp yourself and it is soft. They have a nice selection of colors. Go do your thing, sweetie. Izzy. Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that's nice of you, Kennedy. Aw, thank you. So, oh my gosh, I love this. And I'm pretty excited about using it. And they have other colors. They're starting to get more neutral colors. I need more of it. So let's hope it goes well. So we need a four and a half millimeter hook. Do you have that in this bucket? I think I have it in here. <laughs> I'm going to say it's like the pink one. Bigger. Found it. Size 7. Oh, four and wow. a half millimeter. Cool. It's blue. It's just like pink, but a different color. So is this actually marked? Um, in, uh, yeah. Millimeter? This is the Clover Amore, and they're just stamped in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, because if it was just paint, it rubs off when you crochet, and that's sucks. It's really nice. Ooh, read to me. Sabrina talked. Um, let's see. I'm going to Sabrina tried the St. Patrick's Day ballerina shoes. Oh, how'd they go? And she was upset she could not complete it. She's oh. getting confused. The stitches were not adding up. She'll oh. have to try again. I have the same issue. I mentioned in the video, as long as you're close, you're cool. Because I have the same issue with those ballerina shoes because they have the increases around the toes. That's why I use the markers. And I just find my middle stitch and I work from that. And if you are anywhere close in your count, you're going to be fine because near the back of the shoe, it definitely has this situation where the gap between the first and the last, because whenever you're working in the round, the gap before you slip stitch is always questionable. And since it's only, I think, five or six rows high, I count at the end of every row just to make sure. And if I don't have enough or too many stitches, I fudge it. If I have too many stitches, I'll slip stitch one farther forward. Is Usually that, you slip stitch into fudge is a technical term. That is a technical you term. You can use that though. Okay. As long as you copyright me. All right. Yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> but I just count and let's say I have too many. Yeah, I do too almost every time and I made the pattern. It's just, I swear that thing moves. I don't know how it is. It moves? It moves. It's only like 40 <laughs> stitches at the biggest portion and it moves. I counted that so many times. I've been making those for... Oh my gosh. 
I'd to, say Sabrina eight also years. had to fudge it. Yeah. <laughs> you totally have to fudge it. And it works out just fine as long as you have that rounding in the toe. And I just mark center stitch <clears> and I count from there. And then because there's that one toe stitch where you have five increases. And whenever you increase five times in one stitch, I swear it does something mathematically magical. It just every single time it wiggles my math. I have no idea. But I did my very best. I used to make them off center. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Oh my gosh. Uh, baby jackets, I could whip those out faster than a hat. They're just so easy. But you get to the booties or to something small where people are going to see the stitches close up. Oh my gosh. Um, I have three baby jackets. And they're all very, very easy to crochet. <laughs> oh, patterns? Yeah. Okay. But, and these booties, I've been making these booties for over 10 years. And the same ballerina booties. And yeah, they're, every single time there's a little surprise in there. And I'm usually quite specific. Oh, okay. I'm going for my green juice today. It looks terrible because it's in a purple mug, but it's green on it. So that's, that's it's a, a lot of vegetables. Color. Yeah. It looks like a... Uh green pizza liquefied mm -hmm. it's not very pretty to be honest well it's through a purple mug oh yeah that's a good point up top it's pretty <laughs> right mm. husband told me not to do the green juice because i'm gonna get stuff in my teeth yeah and i might let me know <laughs> <laughs> but i broke them oh this is why it's so tight in the package oh they have a rubber band on it. it i love it there it is speaking of fudging it Okay, so I took off the band and there was a rubber band. <laughs> it left a mark. <laughs> That's awesome, though. You know, if your packaging falls apart, how many times have you gotten a ball of yarn that just sitting in your stash before you use it becomes a complete and total mess? Yeah. It's just it's it's like, everywhere. I've never used this yarn. Why does it look so haggard? Um, Karen Simply Soft. You leave that in your stash for a couple minutes, it's going to be... The outside layer of yarn will be pilled. It picks up dust somehow that's not even around. It's amazing, really. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead with the yarn, with the hook that they suggested, my 4.5 millimeter, and I'm gonna be chaining for eh, 23. So I'm gonna start with double crochet. So what have you guys been working on? I am going to make you a headboard. That's going to be this week. Hi, kitty. Here's Flashy coming to say hi. Awesome. Or, no. Flashy says, don't touch me. <laughs> we gave her a bath yesterday. I changed 23. She was not happy. She was very good, though. She, she is, wasn't violent, and she She, she doesn't uh, claw at us. She mm -hmm. tries to get away, but she doesn't claw at then us, which is great. She's kind of passive-aggressive. You know, she yeah. just comes nearby and then you try and pet her and she just looks stricken and walks away. Like, <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> Not after last time. She's like, I can't trust again. She's so sweet though. Is she? Mm -hmm. She's chilling out watching us right now. <laughs> you see her? I see her. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know about trusting her though. I think it's all a ploy. <laughs> Hunter's been super clingy today, and we might have made a mistake and gone back to the chicken store, and I might have gotten four more chickens. It wasn't, it wasn't a mistake. They like chickens. I like chickens, <laughs> but now we have seven. It's a lot of chickens. It's a lot of chickens. Somebody told me you get addicted to chickens. So we're going to have more eggs than we know what to do with. Who wants eggs? Would anyone like an omelet? It's kind of exciting, though, because uh, we got a lot of different types of chickens. So there's going to be dark eggs, uh, light colored eggs. Yeah, peach eggs. We got one that lays really, really dark brown eggs. At least the first year, they're almost black. Kennedy got the yarn for the Crochet Baby Mobile. She's oh, excited. Oh, how cute. Oh, that's amazing. They can't see your hands, by the way. Oh, 
Pretty <laughs> early. Uh oh, kitty's coming. She wants the green juice. Oh, she wants the yarn. Uh huh. Pick her up. She says, "Come here." Let me see if I can get her. Just grab her by the nape of the neck. She likes it. Hmm. I think she's trying to lead me to her food bowl. Hi. She come says, here. Come here. Oh. This is flashy. Let's say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> she says, not today, mister. She's like, you have not paid me to be on camera. <laughs> she may still be mad at me for giving her a bath She's yesterday. She's pretty sensitive. <laughs> but we went through the house yesterday and we just cleaned and cleaned and cleaned because his allergies have been acting up and dust. Yes. And wind. And yeah. So now we need to be able to open up the house. Went for a long drive. We saw some longhorn cows. Sabrina loves our cat. Thank you. I'll send her right over. <laughs> I mean, we love her too. <laughs> I do love her. She's very sweet. She's uh, she's kind of awesome. Mm hmm. She's a name. She's a dilute tortoise shell. Me. Hey. But yeah, I think. Because she, we adopted her from outside. Oh, <laughs> but she adopted us from outside, and we found her in our wheel well of our car. She's twice the weight that she was then, and she was already seven months old then. So she's grown quite a bit in the last few months. And then, um, I think I met her mom. There's a lot of cats in our neighborhood. It's so. <laughs> it's one of those neighborhoods where every porch you look at has a cat. It's like they at the, she's attacking my yoga mats right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I saw that. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh wow. Now she's you... attacking my laptop. She just wants to cuddle. Come here. But Come here, girl. this yarn feels fabulous. It's got a little yeah. stretch to it. So much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What'd she do? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Sabrina's cat heard our cat meowing and she's like, what? <laughs> Where is it? But I do like this. It's got a nice drape going on so far. I know I can't judge until the end. Oh, that's so cute. My dog here, he's just like, he was here before all the other animals right now. So he's just like, why? And what next? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another dog, a cat, chickens. And someday goats. Mm -hmm. He wants to move to a farm and have goats. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Goats or cows? Sounds one or the like other. work. Sounds like work. I have to count because this really puckered up in my training. So I'm at 5, 10, 15... 21. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm at 21. The desired height. I can't. My, I'll lose the blood in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, this might be loud. Forgive. Better? Yeah, there okay. you are. And I am wearing my one skein shawl. It has a pattern on my channel. It's a super easy triangle shawl. I use the, it uses one ball of Red Heart Unforgettable. Boop. Hi. Hi. So this is for the pattern you would use for a shirt? Um, this is yarn for the shirt, but before I make any patterns, I always swatch it. So you're just testing how it works? Yeah, I want to see how it looks in all the stitches. I want to see how it looks in stitches stacked, like in rows. Maybe you want to know if that yarn is behave. drapey. It's super drapey. So far, just super. I assume you're talking about this one, right? Yeah, so far. I mean, not completely. It's got a little body. We'll know more when I finish this swatch. Because 
it's definitely got some curling going on, but I think that's going to go away with a little bit of weight. Because you know how it is. This doesn't weigh much, but a shirt would. So I have a feeling with its own weight, it would definitely be drapey. Um, the only thing comparable that I've used for shirts is Symphonia from, it's a cotton, and it's also a sport weight from, what's up, Ben? Sabrina wants to know, is cotton yarn good for baby projects? They don't seem very soft. Um, cotton yarn can be good for baby projects. If I'm using cotton for a baby project, I like, I love this cotton. The problem with cotton is it stains. Acrylic yarn doesn't stain. You know, you know what I mean? So it's like, this is like, when I'm dealing with baby stuff, I just assume if it's a newborn baby, there will be, I mean, I don't know if you've had it. There's a lot of blowouts. Yes. And puking and once you start with the baby vitamins that have iron every spit up has a black staining situation <laughs> and I just assume that so almost everything I make for babies is acrylic because it just doesn't there's some really high quality acrylics um, even like red heart soft is really really nice and it really resists staining because cotton you're not going to get that out if they have a diaper situation or they puke on the clothing unless it's just for you know an heirloom situation that they'll wear once or twice and it's no big deal but for day-to-day -day use i almost always go with acrylic you can find some really high quality ones if you're afraid to give anything rough but i usually go differently oh yeah yeah, it's it happens, and once they start taking those baby when they're new, it's no big deal. But when they start taking those baby vitamins and they puke, it stains black because of the iron in the vitamins. I got skin. Yeah, what? Skin. Oh, from um. I don't even know which vegetable. <laughs> what vegetables did you use yeah it, it definitely I mean only in my opinion that's definitely but for a really pretty blanket if it's a girl I know this is judgy and you can use whatever yarn for which hi Taylor how's it going and you can use whichever yarn you like but hey, Taylor. Karen super soft is um Karen super soft simply soft is super shiny so I don't tend to give that to boys very often for boys, I tend to go with the Red Heart Soft because it's a little bit more matte. But I do love the Karen, um, but the first things I made for my son were totally Karen Simply Soft. And the shiny does wear off after a couple of washes. And it's a very drapery acrylic, which is nice in the baby pictures. But for baby hats, if you want them to look chunky, Michaels has impeccable loops and threads impeccable and those tend to look kind of chunky that's what most of my baby hats the bear hats that I have and the headphone hats that I have those are all going to be in impeccable because those are kind of bulky and that chunky look looks so cute on newborns but they can only wear those for probably about two months Taylor's doing good I'm glad Taylor I am swatching Boop, boop. Cotton Fair in leaf green. Boop. It's a size two cotton acrylic and I want to make clothes for the summer so I'm just seeing how it behaves. So many of the clothing crochet videos are in Spanish and they use Circo, Circulo, I forget. And I can't get that in the US. So they have all these really cool thin gauge cottons and I can't get a single one. I think they're from Brazil. But so I'm always looking to see how different cottons that I can get my hands on behave. Because I love crocheted clothes. Sabrina says it looks beautiful and looks soft. It is so far. Feeling so far? Okay. Yeah, that's nothing like what it was yeah. as a rolled up fall. <laughs> hey Kelly, how's it going? Okay. We are swatching Premier's Cotton Fair, size 2 cotton acrylic, and oh my gosh, where's it from? 
Oh, it's from Turkey. It's packaged in North Carolina and you get 317 yards per ball and I want to make some clothes. So we're seeing how the different cottons behave. Oh, but if you do want to make some cottons and you're looking for something kind of affordable for baby making, um, I highly suggest the I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And they have a lot of colors, so if you want to do something on the brighter spectrum, then you can cover up any, you know, staining. Especially if you use multiple colors, that tends to hide stains too. What I miss? Uh, nothing yet. Oh, cool. I am curious what vegetables you put in here, because this is, this has got some <laughs> thickness, some body to um, it right here. That's an entire head of lettuce, wow. like a little romaine, and an entire cucumber. It's an apple. I gotta try this. Couple slices of frozen banana, and there's another one in there. Cucumber, lettuce, oh, two things of celery. Oh, awesome! What kind of baby blanket? So basically, it's a salad. It's a, it's a salad in a cup. Wow. It's actually really good. It's really tasty. I'm having my decaf. Oh, I think we just had some new people join us. I accidentally bought more chickens. It was an accident. Okay, this is going really well. It's little though, that's for sure. Because usually I'm like twice as much by the end of, by the end of my single blah, 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 by the end of my half double crochets. Now we're gonna see if it puckers in much. I'm guessing it won't because I'm sensing a lot of stretch in this, probably from that acrylic. The scissor blanket will be three foot by three foot, and oh. she's using a diamond stitch. Pretty! That's a good size for new babies. All the way up to, like, toddlers. Because I know a lot of people do the brand new baby blankets, like, 24 by 24 inches, so two feet by two feet. And that works for new ones. And in, like, the, what do you call it, the car seat and such. But the bigger ones last for a while. Last row of single crochets. Hey, babe. Hey. We were talking about Justin here. He just made the kitchen island for the house. We put it on wheels. It's fabulous. I'm super excited. We've needed an island in the kitchen for a while. And this week we're doing the headboard. It's exciting stuff. Mm-hmm. Make, make, make. Mm-hmm. And then next week will be the chicken coop. Yep. But I'm thinking of making a um, A-frame chicken coop. Yeah. So it'll be a big triangle. Uh, Kenny says, how does the Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton wash up. Really, really good. Really, really good. Um, I've used it for several things. It toughens up a tiny bit. Like compared to, it's super, super soft in the ball. I don't have any right here, but it was, I love this cotton, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, the color stays really strong. There are some colors that I wouldn't wash with other things the first times, but it's anything that you wouldn't wash. Like, like if you bought a red t-shirt, you wouldn't wash it with white stuff the first few times or ever maybe. So that's the situation. Oh, you take good care. Ooh, she's going to Walmart for yarn. Oh, exciting. Be careful, that that happens. Oh, I'm glad, Sabrina. I see you soon. Take good care and don't buy the whole rack. Save somebody one just so they know what they missed. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting on. So that was my single crochets. Actually, that appears to be only two rows of single crochets. Hmm, I cheated, Justin. You cheated. I only did two rows. I need three rows of single crochet. Okay. Okay. 
Hi, Kelly. Oh, you're fine. Oh, is that good? She's watching the new adventures of Lois and Clark. I miss what she said after Lois and Clark. And working on a granny stripe blanket using mandala leftovers and her four millimeter clover hook. That's little for a hook on the mandala. How's that turning out? I bet that's really pretty. Is it a big blanket? Okay, I'm almost to the end here. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of a granny stitch. Use the restroom real quick if you don't mind. Already have fun. Love you. Love you. Okay. <clears throat> Boop. And skipping two stitches. I'm just doing clusters of three all the way across to see how it looks in a granny stitch. And in its own hook, I'm thinking this would be a little open for me. But it's cute. Look what I missed. Oh, cool. We did a bunch of donating yesterday. It makes the house feel so open once you get rid of some stuff. And we vacuumed absolutely everywhere. All the animals and the chickens and everything have made so much dust, we had no idea. Got baby ones. Oh, yes, you're good though. Do you want to bring out one of the big ones? Um, Bugs Bunny or Karen? Which one? Um, let's go with Karen. He's gonna bring out one of the big chickens. Well, we call them the big chickens. The original ones are rather big. Ooh, are you using yarn or tool fabric? I'm gonna do one more stitch at the end here. Uh-oh. That sounds like Karen. <laughs> oh, Karen's mad. We have disappointed her. Oh my gosh, I cleaned the chicken cage yesterday. That was an adventure. Thank goodness for shop bags. Hello, it's Karen. Come here, sweetheart. Hello. Karen has grown quickly. Yeah. Like that. She is I getting her spackles. You can see her real feathers coming in under her fluffies. Oh my gosh. She's not at her most attractive point. She's at one of those little ugly teenage places, but she's so sweet. She used to be kind of cranky. That's why we named her Karen. But she's getting her feathers on her leggies, and she's turning kind of a reddish brown color, and she's just absolutely beautiful. Hey. And she's gotten actually really sweet. Aren't you this sweet? She says I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Yeah. And the other animals are getting along with her just fine. Nobody has killed any chickens. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. Hi there. We've been very cautious, though. So. We have. We've been pretty careful. Say hello. So she's probably about... Three weeks old? Yeah. Three, four weeks? Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's doing great. They, don't push that. Once they are fully feathered, they can go outside. But she's not yet. She's got lots of baby fluff left on her, especially on her head. So she wouldn't be able to keep warm. And we won't know for sure if she's a boy or a girl for another over a month. I guess it's about 10 weeks. She says beep beep. <laughs> Here you go. You gonna go see him? Oh, and she is getting her little tail feathers. She was the last to get her little tail. Let me see your tail. There it is. See it right at the end? And she just lifted it up. <laughs> you know the, the big thing go, on top of their necks? Mm -hmm. She still doesn't have that. Aww. Honey. Careful. Wow. There you go. <laughs> she, she is spirited. <laughs> that was some, some crazy noises. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that was language. Chicken language. Alright, I'm still working on my granny stitch portion. Then we'll take a peek and see how we've landed. I've been working on my sweater for Easter. It's a simple crochet one. I'm just making it up as I go along. Then I'm hoping to finish it this week so I can get back to my scarf, my hooded shawl. Because I'm doing the boho hooded shawl. Oh, it's turning out cute. I'm gonna do one more row of this. Kelly says her aunt owns a lot of chicken. Yeah. And they go through that. Yeah, they, uh, they have basics. Her striped blanket is working up great. Oh. And it'll be a throw blanket. That's so cool. Are you making it up as you go along, or did you use the uh, pattern from Attic Twenty Four? I love Lucy. Uh-uh, we're good. Hi, Peep Peep. <laughs> he has one of the babies. <laughs> Her name is Chili, and she is just the cutest little thing. She likes people. She does. She says MJ. Yes, go play with her. Mm -hmm. Have you taken her outside? No, I'll go on the wall. She'll get way too cold. Oh, I think she'll be okay. She's older now. Okay, so now I'm starting my V stitch. And that's just a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in each space, or in this case, in each granny chain space. I probably wouldn't do a V-stitch in a shirt unless I went on a much smaller hook. Kelly is uh, Claire of Bob Wilson's 123's Granny Stripe Blanket. Love Claire. I miss her. Is she making new videos yet? I love her. I follow her, but sometimes when people don't post for a minute on Instagram, they stop showing me stuff. And then I feel like I get behind and then I get paranoid like, oh, am I missing stuff? <laughs> but I do check in on her. She's awesome. She shows the best videos of her area too, because she's from New Zealand. Is New Zealand pretty? Mm-hmm. Almost there. I still hear chickens. <laughs> well, with seven chickens, you're going to hear them. Yes. They've actually been really quiet at night. They sleep well. Kelly says she doesn't think she's got anything new. No. Yet. And she misses her also. Oh, me too, me too. Go ahead and put the chicken on the ground. Honey, go play. Look over at the cat chasing the chicken. Well, okay. don't let that happen. Whoa. That's some aggression. So that's the V stitch, which is cute, but it's really, really open. Maybe for the hey, top Tina. of a, a top, but definitely not for the body of it. Hey, Tina, how's it going? I'm going to do one more row of it just so I know what it looks like, though. Kenita says she saw your bucket hat pattern on Rappler. Yay! Awesome! Yeah, I always put the things on there in case people want the PDF. Because I put it on here and then I just like... Because some people would really rather not have... What do you call it? Not work from Word. And then some people want to have words on the screen and some people don't. Because a lot of people watch videos without, um, without sound depending on where they're at. Cause you know, if you're at work or something like that. So they go by the words. So I try and give people all the options. So I put them on, what is it? Put them on Ravelry and Etsy. I'm glad you saw it though, that's cool.
This is not granny stitch. Nope. I did the granny stitch. Now we're on the V stitch. So this is the granny. This okay. is a V. And then after this, I do a little scallop just in case I feel fancy. But yeah, I did the, this week I did the bucket beanie crochet pattern on YouTube and popped up the PDF on Etsy and Ravelry. And next is the B. So super excited to get an Easter bee. Um, I just went with plain yellow and I'm going to do yellow and black. Keep it classic. Mm -hmm. Okay, be right back. And it is me. All right. <laughs> you can finish my scallop first. I'm not sure if I can do that. You can always do it. I <laughs> all right. I'm... So how are you all? My wife's laughing. I'm embarrassing. Oh, I don't know if she showed this, but we have a friend that we play games together with, and he's from Canada. So when he's not here, this is his stand in. <laughs> and she made uh, a little, a little beer mug to go with it just because it's cute so that's pretty funny we like that what happened i was showing them the moose with oh the beer gosh. mug did you show them the, what i made for him i think you'd be better <laughs> off showing it but i tried to sorry about that <clears throat> i had way too much coffee and tea and everything this morning <laughs> yes this is ikea he's freaking huge they right have, they have mooses everywhere at ikea yes they hid them all over ikea by the time I actually found where they were selling them, I needed one. But we have a friend from Canada and he likes beer. So we figure this is, you know, the him. And then he needed a beer. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he can hold on to it. I might have to sew it. But yeah, so I made him a little beer. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Red Heart Super Saver in gold and gray and white. And yeah, I put a little bit of plastic in the bottom so it'll be nice and structural. Sturdy. Yeah, because yeah, it really wanted to round like the top. So I just put a piece of flat plastic in there. Thank you, Tina. Oh my gosh. But it made me smile. So I'm not sure if he needs anything else. He might need boxers. What do you think? Boxers. <laughs> you think he needs some boxers? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a shirt. I don't know. <laughs> no, some gaming headphones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. He definitely needs gaming headphones. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so super, super cute. And fun. I've been working on... Oh, I was thinking. Let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking... Some of, I got a bunch of the big yarn to do a video comparing them all, if you guys remember. I think it was my first live. And I was thinking, what do you think about a bath mat made from the big yarn? Works for me. Me? Yeah. What do you think? Sure. Like right out, it's really soft and fluffy and it feels just like what you, those really big fluffy bath mats, it feels just like that. I think it might work. Or... That should go pretty fast, right? Yeah. Like 20 minutes fast. Like, oh, wow. Yeah, like lightning. So I'm thinking maybe. But yeah. So I have a bunch of it still. And I was thinking that'd be a lot of fun. Because I still have some of the multicolored with the gray. We have a gray bathroom and a purple bathroom. So. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> And then What's I, the purple thing? The purple thing is my boho shawl. I'm making a boho, mmm, boho pocket shawl. There it is. And I bought the pattern. And it's really, really pretty. This is grape. I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And I just love it. It's making me very happy. I made it very tall. 
and I have the middle marked. Then I have I have this holding on to my stitches because it's it's one of those things where when you put it down, some projects just weigh so much that they want to pull their own stitches out. I like your marker. Thank you. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I love that. And I'm just really enjoying this. And let's see. So I've been working on that. I have my last ball of purple left. I have this much. I'm on my second ball of purple. And I have this much left. And then I have this one left. So we might have to get more, but I don't think so. I'm over halfway. So I'm optimistic. But it's on a J hook. So it's one of those years so far where I need a bunch of J hooks. Everything's on a J hook. My black Bernat velvet robe is on a J hook. My boho shawl is on a J hook. And this is my Easter sweater. So this is the sleeves. So we'll pretend it's on, okay? And then, <laughs> oh, there we go. And this is the other sleeve, okay? The wolves have bellowed. <laughs> and this is the bottom. And I'm working my way up. So it's big, but it's not gonna be very tall. It's gonna be kind of cropped. Cool. And I don't know if I need to do some other color striping in it or not. We're probably getting a package. Please forgive us. And then I am on, I think I just went, I increased every like five or six here. And then I'm just going straight up because it's not going to have a bunch of shape to it. And I'm just kind of playing it by ear. I did the single crochet rib. I considered doing a slip stitch rib, but those take forever. So this went much, much faster than that would have. And after I get some more length on the body of the sweater and I start putting it all together, I might add a few more inches to the sleeves and make them three quarter. Cool. But before I decide that, I need to see how wide the shoulders are of the actual sweater because that might make this three quarter inch all by itself. If the sweater comes out to here and the sleeve starts there, then I'm going to be at my wrist already. I don't want it to be really, really long on my wrist. So I'm excited. This is Limelight. I want to say Limelight. I love this yarn. And honey, can you close the door? Yeah. <laughs> She's a hound. That is her way. She found a squirrel. She found a squirrel? Wow. We have a lot of squirrels. She's really excited about this one, if that's just a squirrel. But I have two more balls. I've only worked my way through one to get all the things that I just showed you. So I'm super excited about this. And on a J-hook. I need to do some more Easter stuff. I have my little Easter basket that I made and my little Easter bee. But I would like to do some more Easter stuff, at least for the kids to throw in their baskets and such. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I'm thinking maybe make some Easter eggs and then put little faces on them or something. I don't know. Do you, have you seen any cute Easter projects? I'm very, very open because I love it and I hardly have any Easter stuffs. But this is my overworked J hook right now. Overworked? Yeah. <laughs> it's all like red hot. It's warped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're still, this is the ADD crafting. We're still swatching. We're still swatching. <laughs> okay. I did my third row of the V stitch. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of, oh my gosh, I can focus so much better now. I had to use the bathroom so badly. <laughs> I drank all that coffee. And then I had that green tea. I mean that green juice. I just looked outside at the side of our house. There's a ginormous orange flower. Oh, we have to take its picture. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. We just moved here in May of last year, so everything's new to us. Are you sure it's not one of those flags that mean fire ants? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Totally. Which is so weird, because so far she's such a mother to them. She just is in love with them. She just watches them all the time and not like in a hunting way because I mean we could see her hunty look it's very 
It's hilarious. Yeah. And then she just wants to mother everything. We have no idea how we got a hound that just wants to mother everything. She mothered the kitten. She's mothering the chickens. But we know that she could totally, if she just decided to, decide, oh, we hunt those. Yeah. And then it would be on. Because <laughs> her nose is crazy. Yeah, when I make the chicken coop, I have to make a run for them. Mm -hmm. so we can... have to protect them pretty much anyway. We ha we're in a bit of an area with, I mean, we have hawks, vultures, owls. That's just right behind yeah, the house. So there's a lot of birds of prey. And then we have cougars. Mm -hmm. I don't cougars? know if it's a cougar. It's one of those cats of prey. And yeah. it's bigger <clears throat> than it should be. And then we had a... Oh, bobcats. Bobcats and coyotes. Yeah. We've seen coyotes ourselves. We we went outside. I don't know if I've shared this before, but we went outside one night. We heard screaming across the street, literally screaming. And then we're just sitting there and it was like the middle of the night. And we're like, and it's a forest across the street and it's dark. And we're like, but we, it was literally screaming. So we're like, we're not just going to ignore this. Should we go over there? Because it wasn't like, help, help. I'm. It was like, eh. It was scary. Every like four <laughs> seconds, so scary. the same noise. And we're like, what is this? So we're like, we, we can't just like not do something screaming across the street. Could have been an animal or a person. We had no idea. And then I got the sound because you can record the sounds and then check what it is. It was a bullfrog. Have you guys heard a bullfrog scream? I guess their mating call sounds like something's dying because that's attractive <laughs> to bullfrog females i'm like what but so we're out there and we're listening and i'm taking a video because i want to compare the sound online and figure out what this is because i wasn't sure it was a people but it was a scream and so i'm recording and then it's the middle of the night and this massive, really well-fed coyote just walks right by us, maybe eight feet from us. Oh, it wasn't walking. It was, it was, it was moving. It was skipping. <laughs> it was a happy gallop. Oh, pardon we, me. Our security cameras <laughs> caught it for like mm -hmm. a frame. Mm -hmm. It's how fast it was going. Yeah. And <laughs> on my camera, it came out. It was eight feet from us. And then it was maybe 40 feet from us and crossed the street. It just kind of swooped. And, oh, my gosh. It was crazy. But, yeah. Texas. And I'm doing a small scallop. Ooh, what I miss, Beth? Kelly says uh, she gets bobcats and hawks in CT. Um, CT. Bobcat actually took one of her laying hens. Oh, I'm sorry. And she carries a gun just to scare it off. Yeah. Get it. But... We have only seen videos of the bobcats. Yeah, in our area, we've been getting people um, showing videos of them. Yeah. Running by their cars and by their house, that kind of thing. Or just hanging out in their backyard. Yeah. <clears throat> and, yeah, so we have to definitely make the, tur the chicken cage really aggressive. So it's going to be a fun project. Got the unicorn scissors. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And let's see what we got. I love it. It would make a really cute top. It pulled in a lot at those single crochets. It's true, but I don't mind it. And I really like that. I always say that though. I always like the granny stitch. I guess that's just a given. It's like, it doesn't matter what the yarn is. I really like that granny stitch. It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and then the V stitch up top. And it is super drapey, really, really drapey. So if you're looking for something to wear that's comfy, especially in the summer, highly suggest this. We are swatching the Premier Yarn Cotton Fair in leaf green. And this is how much I have left. So lots left after the swatch. I swear sometimes I make the swatch for you guys and I have hardly any yarn left in that ball. So I won't even like take the, I won't even take that's a lot of yarn, though. It is. Let me see a basket. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see if I have... What other cottons I have to compare? So this is my basket of swatches. <laughs> and this is the cotton cake 
from Karen. Karen Cotton Cake, there we go. And same swatching, bigger hook, of course, because it's a bigger yarn, but very similar. Oh, but I love the cotton cakes. This is in Calico Colors. And what other cottons do I have to compare? This is, I mean, not cotton, but this is Kobu from Lion Brand. So if you're looking, because this also another great yarn for summer clothes. But as you can see, it's not quite as drapey, so it will probably give a little wrinkle. You'd want to go up a hook size compared to what they say on the ball of Kobu. But Kobu's getting prettier and prettier colors too. So if, but if you want to branch out from the, ooh, let's see, what else do we have? Can I have some more? I have, and I'd love this cotton. If not, that's what we're doing next week. How have, I, how have I not swatched I love this cotton? Okay. Well, next week we'll be swatching I love this cotton. It is. <laughs> but I like this very much. And as far as a smaller weight yarn, it's really, really nice. The other thing that I have to compare this with is Symphonia, which is a cotton yarn and also a size 2, but I do not believe it has the acrylic in it. And this is far better as far as the drape because that's more of a thread like if you push on it it actually this if I push on it it just smooshes under my fingers the symphonia actually it's like a cord you push on it and it kind of pushes back it's definitely got a firmness to it which is great for some things where you don't want it to be drapey like those tops where you want them to like hold up and give a little bit of oh are you that's gonna take a second. How are you liking it? She's making a car a cardigan out of the Kobu. Which color did you choose? I love the Kobu. I love the lavender color. And this is the um ooh, the other lion brand. The feels like butter. Feels so, like butter? Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. Butter. Butter. Feels like butter. Yeah. Oh, so it's not actually butter. Mm -mm. It's, it's butter. Feels like butter. Oh wow. Yeah. And that's the two colors together because they both come in the lilac because they're both lion brand but yeah I love my swatches this is why I make my swatches because you can't tell when you look at the ball of yarn what it's gonna work out like so I always like to swatch as soon as I get new yarn and I like to share with you guys in case you're looking to buy online hello crochet granny how's New Mexico what's the weather like today I was just sharing the Premier Yarns Cotton Fair. I did a little swatch up with the suggested yarn hook and I'm loving it because I need some tops this summer. Right? You do? Yes. Yes. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. This is my <laughs> husband, Justin Crochet. He's Hello. moderating and he will not wear a crochet crop top. He told me. Uh, I'm not sure if that would be wise. Okay, good. We're just checking. Maybe a cotton hat. A cotton hat would be beautiful. Yes, you thank you. There we go. And he does need some socks. I was going to make him a sweater, but it was it's a lot of work. You know? Yeah. And you have to have good yarn because he's a little picky. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So that sounds great. And if you have any questions or comments about the yarn, I'm just going to go through really quick and feel free to leave those in the comment section. But the first thing I like to know is the softness. It feels really soft and it feels like one of those things that would only get softer. I was mentioning earlier the I love this cotton is really, really soft, but it gets a little bit firmer, which is great for dishcloths. And it's okay for wearables, just don't use too small of a hook or that's gonna take forever to dry. So I would go the size that I love this cotton suggests or bigger if you're making a wearable. So you get some drape out of it and then as far as the stretchiness, it did have some stretch to it. My hands were not tired. It's another thing that you get with cotton yarn. There is no stretch in most cotton yarn and it will make your hands a little tired because you're constantly pulling on something that doesn't give, which isn't a big issue, but it does cause a little bit of fatigue. Um, it was not squeaky at all, which is nice. Sometimes yarn has squeak, babe. 
You were telling me that you can feel it in the uh, crochet uh, hook. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, even out loud sometimes. Oh, and wow. there there's things people do. Some people like to run it through their hair so the natural oils are on the hook. That does work. And there's different things you could do. Some people just say there's no such thing as yarn squeak. And I'm like, mm, there is such thing as yarn squeak. You have not used an aluminum hook. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's somebody trying to sell me something. It says Marble Black Panther pin set. Well, that's cool. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. So, oh, no squeak, super drapey, super soft. The packaging was fabulous. It looks great in all the stitches. It did have a little pull in on that single crochet, so I wouldn't use anything with a single crochet in it if I was mixing stitches in the same pattern unless it was for the collar or for somewhere that I want some pull in and more structure and let's see do you guys have any questions about it I'm curious to see how it would wash I want to know what you got here that's this, really pretty right here yeah this is a oh goodness red heart roll this way with tweed in marine <laughs> and it's what i used to make my hat for the bucket hat yeah and this is what i had left over is this someone used on the tutorial uh-huh oh cool so this is what i had left over from this so this would have been next and i'm thinking i should just make another one out of it because that's really pretty i love the way those greens work up and i'm a big fan of acrylic and a hat because my hats get thrown in the wash every week whether i like it or not <laughs> no you're fine <laughs> so i really love acrylic for a hat and all of the acrylics from red heart have held up really really well and this made a hat very quickly so if you are curious about making my bucket hat it did roll a little bit that's because i made it roll i put it on and then i'm like i wanted it to be out of my face so it rolled right up yeah and then i have my other one so i used the same pattern i did this to make the video and then I made this one with you guys, which I love this one. All about the rainbow. Um, can anyone know how much this costs? I think that's the yarn. Ooh, I want to say it was like six or seven dollars, but I only buy when things are on sale. So if it wasn't 30% off or more, it didn't come home with me. This one is marine. Isn't that pretty? I really like it. But it started off with this. So it started off, and I worked from the top down. So it started off like this, and then turned into this. What yeah. color did you say it was? Marine. Marine. Mm -hmm. okay. I thought it was called Pool Party, but it's not. Oh, the Cotton Fair. Sorry about that. The Cotton Fair is actually, did it say leaf green? Yes, leaf green. Here's another one. Here's a little slow-mo of the label. Yeah, I love that marine. I'm all about the pool colors right now. So let's see if it'll focus on this for you. This basically says use a four and a half millimeter hook. And for the washing instructions, it says machine wash warm, dry flat, and then don't bleach or dry clean. It looks like actually that you might be able to dry clean if you wanted to, that's cool. And if you were gonna knit with it, it would suggest three and a half millimeter size four knitting needles. And then it says more patterns over on their website. Here's the little label. I sit upside down. There we go. So, color is 2710. They call it leaf green. And this lot was the 86168. But yeah, from Premier Yarns. I got mine at Michael's. And I got it at, oh my gosh, all yarn was buy two, get one free. Oh. So, yeah, I. I, oh, hi, how's it going there? I thought we missed you. You want a break? But yeah, I was just talking about this cotton fair. We want to be making some clothes for the summer. Hey, Maribel. I live in yoga pants, so I need something to put over my tank tops, right? There it is. There it is. All <laughs> the crocheted things. Awesome, awesome. It's such a beautiful day out today. I hope we can get out and about. We have some things we have to do around the house. I was saying the husband made a kitchen eye. Oh, we, oh, we do have some errands to run. We are yes. totally going out today. Oh, have you used it, Maribel? Oh my gosh. Highly suggest. 
I just made a swatch out of it and loving it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the swatches. They're super drapey. It is nice and soft, much softer than Symphonia. That's what I've used for my size two cotton so far. And it's got half acrylic, so it has some stretch in it, which I like for my hands when I'm crocheting a lot because my hands get tired when I make when I do too much with just plain cotton that doesn't stretch. And let's see. Oh, it had no hook squeak whatsoever, which I appreciated. And we had a little pull in at that single crochet, but nothing I'd call an issue design wise. So I'm getting, I'm, there'll be something out of this pretty quick. Very cool. It might need to have fringe, right? Very Some good. tassels, look, tasteful tassels. Okay. Not inappropriately tassels. Okay. Good. Yeah. Tassels though. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you guys so much for stopping in. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or just say hello. It's been great talking to you. I'll be back the same time next week. This week we have the B going up and we'll be doing another review later in the week. I have, it might be live, it might not be. So go ahead and turn on notification bell and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Bye bye.